You're gonna need some tweezers. These are aquarium tweezers. Today we're doing something that I didn't wanna have to do. I have to go in there and get that guy out of there. And a towel. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something that I didn't wanna have to do. One of my geophagus in this tank has a Corydora stuck in its mouth. Check this out. We're gonna have to go in there and get that guy out of there. He was alive, but not anymore. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain. Corydora or Corydora catfish are, well, catfish, and they have spikes on their fins right here and on their pectoral fins. These spikes can produce a mild venom, which usually causes a stinging or a numbness. It kind of feels like a bee sting a little bit. Now when the Corydora comes out of the water or gets eaten by another fish or scared or stuck, it flexes these fins. And that's the issue right here. Not only is it important because it's stuck, it could also kill both of these fish. So I'm gonna have to go and net this guy, pull him out, get this fish out. And this is what you need to do so. Some kind of pan so you can put some water in there. You're gonna need some tweezers. These are aquarium tweezers for aquascaping and a towel face cloth that you're gonna make very wet. So first things first, we're gonna put some water in this here pan. You wanna make sure there's a fair amount of water, but not too much. You just wanna be able to get some water into the gills of the fish. Then you're gonna take your face cloth and you're gonna get this wet as well. This is very important because you're gonna place this over the face of the fish and it's going to allow them to breathe while they are out of the water. So now I got the fish in the pan. You see right here, you're gonna to wanna to cover his eyes and his gills. You're going to wanna make sure that this face cloth is completely saturated with water. It's very important that you do this part. Not only does it cover the eyes of the fish and reduce stress, but it, like I said, it's also allowing him to breathe. So you'll see when I grab the fish here and you pull on it, it doesn't just come right out. Those are those spikes, those barbs that I was telling you about. And they're very well stuck in here. It's kind of bogus, you can't just reach in there and fold all of the fins down, you're just gonna have to pull it. This is where my camera died. And all I really did was wiggle the Corydora back and forth inside of the Geophagus' mouth, and it eventually came loose. I was almost certain that the Corydora was dead, but the Geophagus was fine. It just had a little bit of a mouth issue. It was pretty hard trying to film this girl here because all she wanted to do was hide, reasonably so. But if you look, it looks like her mouth is stuck open, kind of like a parrotfish. As for the Corydora, he's alive. Later. So the Cory cat that was stuck inside the Geo's mouth died shortly after I put him back into the tank. So I'm just having a conversation with these guys about what not to do. So it's roughly been about 24 hours since I pulled the Cory out of this Geo's mouth and her mouth is still stuck open. So it's taken about three days, but this is the result we got now. The Geo's mouth is completely normal. She actually had had it open for a little while and she was pushing against the rock and it like popped back into place. Pretty awesome. Glad she's doing good. And that's it. It happens that you lose fish sometimes. It's a shame. But if you're ever in this instance and one of your fish is a catfish stuck in its mouth, that's how you get it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys. Peace. Yeah!